So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 3 of our 1860 Munchen Karimo. So we are going to be taking on this side here as we can try and choose a kit that won't clash. I think that one might not clash. We're, they're going to be playing in their home kit anyway. So we're going to be taking on VFL Botum, if you pronounce that right. But we have made two changes for this game. Coming in at Cam is going to be Martinez and at CDM we're going to have Perdijac, if that's probably pronounced wrong again. But... He's going to be playing at CDM, so let's see how we can get on. And last time we won 3-0, I believe. Let's see if we can go ahead and pick up another good result here. Come on! Oh my! Six minutes in, the guy that we've just brought in for Casey Palmer steps up with a delightful goal. And if he's going to be scoring goals like that, then Casey Palmer might have to be looking over his shoulder because that was a fantastic goal. Victor offloads the ball to him from just outside the area. He strikes it. The goalkeeper at full stretch can't get anywhere near it. And we'll take him the lead just six minutes in. Take a bow, Lautaro Martinez. So the ball through to Christian. Christian might not be the quickest, but he has got the wits about him as he does very well. Cuts back inside, plays the ball through to Victor. Victor tries to take on his man, but can't quite do so as they clear the ball up to Malapa. And Malapa's got a decent chance now because there was only three people back. So we've got to be careful as we're pushing bodies forward, but we've got another good chance. We play the ball through to Victor. Victor, come on. The home side really getting the momentum behind them now as they're really pushing forward. And they're pushing a lot of bodies forward as well. And we're struggling to contain it because, to be honest, we've only got three at the back. So we are a team that look to score goals. But when the other team is pushing so many bodies forward, we struggle to contain them. But we play the ball back to Lacazette. Lacazette out wide to Christian. Christian with a lovely dink ball over the top to Anya. And Anya does well. Cuts back inside as we're holding onto the ball just to try and get to half time. And we just about do that. So half time, we've taken the lead. Come on. So Anya running at his man as he offloads the ball through to Christian. Christian over the top to Lautaro Martinez for a second. And he's only gone ahead and put it into the bottom corner. But he's gone down with an injury. So it looks like his injury is going to be a long-term one. But what a lovely chip over the top. And that is some finish as well. Keeping the ball low and slowing it into the bottom corner. But is he going to be fit enough to continue? So Lacazette on the ball, Lacazette through to Rivmar, who just come on the pitch. Rivmar back outside to Hamilton. Hamilton's going to try and take on his man and he just gets out muscled. But the referee actually gives us a lifeline because he gives us a free kick. So who's the best free kick taker in this squad? Aina looks like he's got some okay stats. So let's just give it to Ayn. Let's try and strike it from range. Can he find that top hand corner? He's going to go for power. He gets a lot of power on it and the goalkeeper down low to his left hand side. A fantastic save. So he chipped the ball over the top to Ribamar. Ribamar back inside. Lovely build-up players. We offload the ball out wide to Hamilton. Why we passed that, I don't know. Oh, dearie me. That was my fault. We shouldn't have passed it because I thought we wasn't going to get past our man. But we did, in fact, get past him. But we play the ball back to Havertz. Havertz takes on his man. He goes for goal. Gets too much power on it. And it goes over the bar. And that looks like it could be it for the game now. So win the ball back, Ribmar. Ribmar's going to try and take on his man for pace. Can he get there? He has done. This will be a lovely goal from Ribmar to wrap up the game. And Ribmar with a wonderful solo goal. There was no skill move involved, but he just used his burst of pace, his determination to get there before the defender. And that's a very smart finish into the bottom corner. And that's two consecutive games. He's come off the bench and found the back of the net. This guy could be the new super sub. Get in. So there we go. That is our, third, our second game where we have come out 3-0 winners. We won at the Allianz Arena. Now we've gone ahead and won at their ground. Lautaro Martinez, without doubt, man of the match. He played fantastic in that game by scoring two goals. And Casey Palmer, you might have to play a bit better if you want to keep your starting place, especially with that guy performing so well. So guys, Everton have come back to and said they would accept a bid for Tom Davies. But do we want to splash out one million on a player like Tom Davies. We're not 100% sure because we're not 100% sure if we actually need a centre midfielder. I know I've got a lot of strikers, but I've just found a striker that looks very good. And he goes by the name of Phil from Mets. And I think he looks a very decent striker, but we're not sure whether they'll accept. Asia Via Libre is another striker which we could go for, but I believe strikers can also play at CAM, so without any problems at all. They've actually rejected it because they say that he's just moved to the team. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to submit a new offer and let's go to loan to him. And let's say um, 700000 at the end of a one-year loan deal and let's see if they'll accept that one. However, they say they're unsure whether they want to allow him to be sold. So basically, what we're going to go ahead and do, 
Um, what should we do? Um, I don't think we'll go for him just yet. We'll wait a little bit and let's see. And also, we actually scouted this guy because a few of you guys said have a look at him. But the problem is they want five million for him and we've only got a million. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. Um, we've also gone in for Rick Van Jonglen because a few of you guys did actually say go in for him. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to offer a centre-back. Let's go with a 69 rated centre-back because at the end of the day, um, he's 31 years of age and he's not going to be getting that much game time. And they've accepted it. So, uh, Rick Van Jongen looks like he could be on his way to the club. We'll go ahead and offer him that deal at the moment, but he's probably going to want 2.3 thousand a week, which in my eyes is not a lot of money, so not a problem at the moment. And of course, yeah, he does want um, his extra money. So we'll go ahead and give him 2,350 and we'll give him a squad rotational player and let's see if he'll accept that one. If not, we might have to up it to an important first team player. And yes, um, he says that... Um, he doesn't want to relocate, which means he will be happy with that deal, but he just wants more money. So let's go ahead and give him 3.6 thousand a week and let's see if he'll accept that one. So he does indeed accept it, so he will be joining the club. And that's pretty much wiped out all of our wages and money. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to put a few people on the transfer list or the loan list, and let's see if we can get rid of some of them. So I thought that team was really good, but what I want to do now, should we keep Martinez? Um, let's keep Martinez. Vic Van Jongen, as you see there, 66 rated centre midfielder. He's quite good. He can play left back as well. So he's actually going to play in this game. He's going to be making his debut. And that's good news for us there. Um, Casey Palmer. Do we play Casey Palmer ahead of Martinez? No. Martinez played fantastic and we can't drop him to the bench. Um, anyone else that deserves a place on the bench? Liendo played quite well as well, but so did that. This guy, but what we're going to do, we're going to play Liendo as well because he does play it very well. He can play at Cam, he's quite a versatile player. So he's going to go there. We'll take him off and put that guy on the bench. And apart from that, Svila still not going to be making his debut as of yet. We want to get his rating up just a little bit more before he takes the place of Zimmerman. And I think this should be the side that we're going to go with in this game. So we're going to go into the second and final game of this episode as we are going to be taking on. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to be taking on Dresden at the Allianz Arena. We're currently on six points. We're in third place. Stuttgart look like the team that are going to be at the top of the table. They've won three out of three. Can we go ahead and match that with another victory here? We've won 3 0 and 3 0. So we've got a 6 0 aggregate score so far. I think we could go ahead and win this one. Come on, the boys in the blue and white stripes. So Aina doing very well. Cuts back inside and he gets taken to ground. So we've got a chance now. With the three kick, um, the defender actually gets a yellow card for Dresden. But from the free kick, we do know Aina is a very good... No, not Aina. Um, who is it? Liendo. Liendo's supposed to have good free kick stats, which he does do. So Liendo's going to be taking it with his left boot. Can he curl this one into the top corner? He gets it over the wall. Oh, he doesn't get it over the wall. Actually, he hits the wall. But we get a corner kick at least. So the ball through to Lautaro Martinez. Back through to Lautaro. Lautaro to strike it from range. And the goalkeeper with a very good save denying him. Oh no, what are we doing? We've given away a penalty and it was Vic Van Jonglen on his debut who's given it away. And that was entirely my fault. I didn't see the Dresden defender in front of us. We went to go for the slide tackle and of course we took him out, didn't we? Oh dearie me, that's my fault. Oh God, so now it's going to be Zimmerman. Can he save Van Jonglen's blushes. It's going to be Zimmerman up against Kutschke. Can we put the ball to the right-hand side? Oh, you little bastard. He's only dinked the ball into the bottom corner, any. What a goal. Take my hat off to him. That was a very, very calm penalty. Wow. Victor with a good chance, though. Victor keeps on going. Lovely solo run. And he's only gone and put it into the top corner, hasn't he? Victor Andrad, or Andrade, however you pronounce his name, has just scored a wonderful solo goal. He did get a slight bit of luck, but we give the team a bollock in at half-time. We said they need to go out, they need to get a response and give the home side something to cheer about. He goes on a solo run, he keeps on going, and then he blasts it into the corner of the net. The goalkeeper, no chance, and we're back on level terms. Lindel through to Martinez. Martinez running through those. He offloads the ball back inside to Victor. But it just looks like they've got a lot of defenders back as they've taken the lead. But Aina's short. Oh my god, Aina. 
Oh, you're going to have to take him off now because I think he's out of energy. So we're going to bring on some new players. So we're going to bring on out wide is going to be Havertz. We're going to bring on uh, Ruben Mar for um, Christian. And Martinez is going to come off for Casey Palmer. The three new boys. Can they do it? Lindel through to Ribamar though. Ribamar's charging through. It does look like the defender's going to catch him up, but Ribamar does well. He cuts back inside. Ribamar, can he save the day? He's put it wide at the post. Lacazette through to Liendel. Liendel back through to Andre. Andre through to Liendel again. Liendel out wide to Hamilton. Hamilton cuts back inside. This could be our chance. Hamilton puts a good ball in the box. Oh, we can't win it, but we win that one with Lacazette. Lacazette through to Casey Palmer. Casey Palmer through to Havertz. Havertz does well with Ronaldo Chubb. He's going to go for goal, and he gets too much power on it. Blazes it over the bar. The referee blows a full-time whistle, and they're the first points that we have dropped in the league so far. So Stuttgart are now two points clear of us. We had seven shots, four of them on target. We probably should have win, won that game, but we just couldn't find that all-important, crucial goal. Vic van Jongelen, not the best debut from him as he gave away a penalty. So we now got about two hours left in transfer deadline day and absolutely nothing has happened at all. All. So as you can see there, we're just advancing through and it's one of the most boringest deadline days you will see on my channel. Nothing at all happened. We've got no money left, but we've just moved into a new month, which means there will be a squad report and there will be um, a scout report at the end or the start of next year episode so that is in fact going to be it for this episode of career mode if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit the like button down below as it's going to be very much appreciated and don't forget if you are new around here hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest videos and career modes thank you so much for watching bye bye